Madam uh, Jyoti Arora is a joint secretary uh, with the um, you know, Ministry of uh, Power. Um, I have been working with her at LBNL for quite some time. I think she had many different roles and many different hats and is being a, d doing a great job. Uh, with the Ministry of Power now. Um, so primarily, you know, she works on the transmission system side of things, and she's also very much involved in some of the work. I was looking at some of her work, you know, in reforms and restructuring, uh, and one area that really caught me is in the open access of transmission distribution. Um, that's very critical, and as you start looking about the integration, uh, and what some of the things Murali spoke about, I think that uh, having that open access interoperability, what I see is, is extremely critical. She's doing a, a good amount of work. So I think this is a good time since uh, originally we we're planning that there will be an overview from the chairs, both sides, but we have touched on two very important areas on the challenges and the state of affairs in terms of the questions. So before I jump into examples and lessons and, and start questioning the panelists on the other side, I'd like to call upon, um, you know, Ms. Jyoti Arora uh, to give a, a quick overview. So if you're okay, madam, to come over and then give a quick uh, maybe four or five minutes overview of the state of affairs in India, where you think that the U.S.-India collaboration in smart grid might be beneficial. You can either speak from there or come here, whichever is, uh, works for you. Yeah. Well, smart grid includes everything, I think. So uh, since uh, as a Joint Secretary working on transmission and integration of uh, uh, renewables into the grid, uh, we, have ha we have a very strong relationship with the US. So I thought I'll just share those experiences, though I think in this particular session you have uh, two, three, uh, subtopics, but uh, somehow they also are important for grid integration as well. So uh, as far as uh, India is concerned, um, if we look at uh, renewables, uh, having 175 gigawatt of renewables is something uh, which uh, government of India is committed. But uh, till now, we were looking at how and where this whole uh, renewable will be coming from, that is uh, 100 gigawatt of solar, 60 gigawatt of wind, and 15 uh, gigawatt of other uh, renewables. But much more important uh, than coming of those renewables is how they get integrated into the grid. Now for that, now what we are looking for is how can there be a more uh, important uh, economic dispatch how we can uh, reduce the congestion, and in terms of this grid integration, how different storage technology, uh, technologies, even including um, uh, electric uh, mobility, can help. So with that in view, uh, and for that, what kind of enabling framework we require. Uh, so we have, have a very strong collaboration with some of the labs in US, for example, uh, uh, the NREL and LBNL is helping us actually looking at different scenarios in 2022. What will this whole scene? Uh, they, have, they have helped us in doing a lot of modeling uh, for uh, grid integration. And there we are looking at what will be the congestion and how will we be managing those congestion. What will be the flexible resources which will be required? And in that, we are to trying to fit in the electric mobility infrastructure, not only from the energy security point of view, but also in terms of how that will help us in the grid integration. So I think when we are talking of smart grid in that sense, so this is one of the things which we are already working with the NREL and LBN lab. And they have, uh, in fact, uh, uh, looking at uh, how this has panned out in the last one, two, uh, last two years, as far as uh, bringing the renewables is concerned, price, we have already hit a very low price, but uh, bringing that, uh, the economic dispatch now, uh, for that also again we are working with regulators in US, which under the Naruk uh, collaboration, so we are developing a primer wherein all these issues of how do you have a smart grid, how do you have a, a smart mobility, uh, all intertwined into the system, and uh, how you can collaborate so that 
this cost of balancing is uh, lowered. So in that sense, this is a work which is already being done by Ministry of Power with the, with the, the US regulators and US labs under uh, the overall uh, uh, framework of, uh, I think it's being supported by USAID. Yes, so, uh, so we are, uh, and uh, apart from this, uh, I, so I, to start with, I think I'll just make, uh, give these opening remarks only for the transmission thing, but I do not know, um, because you have such a, a large panel, they must have spoken on different right. things. So let's see uh, how it goes, then we can, I can intervene wherever required. Wonderful, thank you. That